I reviewed a movie last night that uh, I, I, I wouldn't even have to review it and would have loved it. Why? Because I'm a huge fan of this franchise. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I, I tell you the thing that I really love about uh, this movie. Number one, I became a huge fan when I saw the original version of this movie. Uh, I absolutely loved the characters that were slid into the different main line characters that that were portrayed. And, uh, you know, I, I it continually impresses me that this is a kind of franchise that I could see having having a, a good run for itself. Uh, you know, some of these uh, superhero kind of things that go on, uh, you kind of go, hmm. <laughs> you know? I mean, uh, Transformers, I mean, you know, the first one, I, I really kind of liked the first one. The second one, it was, hmm. you know, I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of the second one. Uh, I'm sure there's a third one somewhere down the way coming out. You know, people, as long as they can make money on these things, they're going to crank these mothers out. But I don't think anything uh, comes close except for possibly the new Star Trek franchise. Uh, you know, I really like that. I, I really hope that has a long run. Uh, but the movie I'm talking about is Iron Man 2. Reviewed it last night. Absolutely loved it. Robert Downey Jr., uh, Mickey Rourke, who absolutely is phenomenal, I think, and has really come a long way from his first um, foray into the acting world, you know. And, I mean, Mickey had all kinds of ups and downs and all kinds of problems or whatever. And, I mean, you know, he, uh, he, he, he just has really come a long, long way. I'm really proud of Mickey Rourke. He's just really a great, great guy. Uh, got a big heart. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he's a very, very gifted actor, and uh, it, it is definitely seen uh, in this particular uh, uh, sequel. And, of course, Gwyneth Paltrow, uh, you know, little hottie. You know, she's never made it to the rabbit girl list because, you know, I mean, the troops vote on that. So, I mean, you know, uh, even though I'd like to nudge Gwyneth in there, if you'll excuse that phrase. Uh, and the, and then of course the other thing is, uh, one of the rabbit girls that is there is Scarlett Johansson. She's been a rabbit girl for quite a few months now. And, uh, Scarlett is, uh, making her debut in this particular franchise. And she has a very interesting role also. And so anyway, uh, you know, I'm sure you've seen it, but if you haven't, uh, take a look at this. Center. I'm sorry, he's very eccentric. I want one. No. If you can make God bleed, people will cease to believe in him. They will be blood in the water. And the sharks will come. Weapon turned over to the United States of America. I am Iron Man. The suit and I are one. Contrary to popular belief, I know exactly what I'm doing. What? What I saw you do to Tony Stark on that track? Wow. You need my resources. I want to make Iron Man look like an antique. This whole lone gunslinger act's unnecessary. You don't have to do this alone. Stark displays textbook narcissism. Agreed.
I'm telling you, watching it in Rabbit Hole Studios last night and seeing it on the big screen are going to be all the difference in the world. And, of course, like every movie that I review, I always go to the big screen and see it, plunk down my money like everybody else because it's absolutely uh, a huge difference between seeing it on an LCD TV screen with a, a Bose stereo system, you know, even though I have a nice stereo system, it does not compare to seeing something in the theaters themselves and having all those people around you and that popcorn smell and Coke spilling everywhere. And, and of course, watching uh, 50 of the idiots texting each other about the show in front of you and makes you want to go and beat the living shit out of each and every one of them. But that's another subject. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a rant, doesn't it? Anyway, so Iron Man 2 coming uh, to a theater close to you uh, next week, which will be May 7th is when it premieres. So I know everybody's going to take a look.